While some Troy students were preparing for classes or sleeping in on Tuesday, members of the Sound of the South marching band were up bright and early to travel to Mobile for the annual Battle for the Belt against South Alabama. According to Dr. Mark Walker, preparations for these trips start much earlier than expected. We start preparing for these things uh, about a year in advance with preliminary conversations and that sort of thing. And then uh, as we get into the semester and into the fall, uh, it, it, we start prepping a, a few months out to make sure that uh, we're ready to go today. Once plans are made, there are a few more steps to make sure everything goes smoothly. We have to get the buses, we have to get per diem, we arrange food and catering and and we work with uh, the other institution to make sure that we have uh, uh, you know, all of our logistics in place. While SOT staff worked to arrange travel and food, SOT's members were preparing in their own way. I drink lots of water the night before and try not to play any any instruments before so my lips aren't dead. I'll like set some time to the side where I'll just have my ear Make sure you don't forget anything. <laughs> that's, that's probably the biggest one. Don't forget anything and sleep. Once in Mobile, Sots practice with the South Alabama's Jaguar Marching Band for a very special halftime performance. We're good friends with uh, their directors and their band staff there, so it's always fun to see them. And we're going to combine our bands together, uh, and uh, we have a special surprise for uh, Governor Ivey, who's going to be at, in attendance. Sots and JMB came together to perform Happy Birthday for Governor Ivey, as well as the song My Homes in Alabama. The performance showed how two rivals can unite to celebrate the state that they come from. After the game, Sots loaded the buses once again and arrived in Troy in the early hours of Wednesday morning. The band is now turning their attention to the homecoming game and will start practicing for that next week. Belle Johnson, Troy, Trojan Vision News.